Bitcoin is absolutely slamming it down right now, as you guys are probably aware. So what does this mean for everything in the space? Are we just about to enter a massive, uh, well, not a massive, but a probably a five month bear market, something like that? I think it's possible. I think it's quite likely. And we've been saying that it's more likely because we've been staying inside this bull market barrier uh, for multiple days, right? If we look back in the past, right, usually if we stay multiple days in the bull market, barrier, uh, it transitioned into some kind of bear market uh, situation, right? So we can see here, right? Uh, and then in cases where we bounce on the bull market barrier, we can see here that actually we only stay in it like two or three days most. Uh, the only example where that isn't true is here, but still we weren't closing daily candles at the bottom side of this, right? So uh, unless we can recover today, it's looking very, very bleak for Bitcoin. I do just want to say that, but don't worry guys, okay? Don't worry because we're going to be out here making money the whole time. Let's just speed this up. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Uh, and we do have a measure move for a beautiful short here towards the downside if we can get it, right? Bitcoin still just tanking, but uh, yeah, just being held up by that bottom bull market barrier as well as a horizontal down here as well, okay? We talked about this yesterday. We talked about this uh, on our Patreon as well. Let me just bring that up for you guys and just show you the update we gave you this morning for free on Patreon, uh, which is this one. Let me just find it. Boom. Okay. Yeah. So essentially, let me just zoom in here. Essentially, what we said, hey, what we said is, hey, Bitcoin's dumping right now. Okay. Uh, we were saying that we are looking for a long if we can reclaim these volume weighted ATR bands. Uh, I'm not sure what's going. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, we can if we can reclaim the volume weighted ATR bands. Fantastic stuff. We did not, so we couldn't find that long position. We just dumped down lower, but we did cover that as well in the posts, right? Uh, so in this post, we said, on the other hand, if we get rejected on the seven SMA, right, uh, which uh, is is essentially where it was, and we did get rejected there right we said hey uh we're looking for a short down to potentially 57k unfortunately i was in a meeting right with some uh some it's not important it's not important. i was in an important meeting but <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna bore you with the details uh, but essentially yes uh we did miss this short if you did find it fantastic stuff again i'm putting out these free updates on patreon and it, again it, there's no charge okay? it's no charge you just follow you get the update sent to your phone uh, and then you know what's going to happen in the markets right and i've been doing this for a long time guys uh so uh yeah Again, another prediction coming through beautifully. Uh, besides that, we should be taking a look at some on-chain stuff here. If I can just zoom this out, make this appropriate again. What has happened here? What is going on here, mates? Hello? Okay, yeah, it's this one. But why is it not the right size? Why is it not the right size, mates? Let's just zoom, get that in. Get that in there, you dirty. Okay, yeah, so we can see here. Um, yeah, so on the second, we did get 13, uh, minus 13 mil outflows for the ETF. Um, but before that, it was looking fairly bullish, right? Uh, one thing with the on-chain right now, guys, is it is looking a bit better, right? It is it is trying to find some lows and, and the miners are turning on, but uh, nothing has really been sustained. We've seen this before a couple times. Nothing's really been sustained here. If we are looking generally, okay, uh, we did talk about us being in this area could uh, spell for us being in a top, right, situation around April, and that has come down and the data has proven to be correct yet again. Okay, and we, we saw the same thing in the last bull run. Okay, and we saw the same thing in the bull runs before that. So uh, yeah, the fact that we're down here again is not good. Uh, but uh, yeah, potential hope here if it does want to curl up to the top, right? If we're looking at energy value, you guys know the drill here. If we get above this bad boy. Oh, I just saw you like the video. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, if we get above this bad boy, then uh, yeah, we go parabolic. We smash it towards the upside, as you can see here, pretty much every single time. I know this doesn't look like a lot, but uh, Bitcoin doubled in price uh, in this area. So uh, so uh, yeah, I mean, if we can get above there, fantastic stuff. But as of right now, we are below it, 74.9 being that uh, exact area as of yesterday. Uh, so we'll see if we can get above there anytime soon. But as of right now, not looking fantastic. Let's bring up our liquidation heat map, see how the markets are looking. Okay, so we saw, we okay, yeah, they're just destroying everyone. Look at this thing. They are destroying everyone. It's just going lower. Um, 
we are seeing a lot of shorts come through here so maybe there is going to be a bit of a short squeeze fairly soon it would not surprise me at all okay uh, let's just head o head on over back to trading view get our last piece of on chain out of the way we can see hash rate right now again moving averages are red that is bearish not good at all but if they cross towards the upside it's uh it's a it's a long signal and we bang it in it's as simple as that it's the easiest strategy uh, possible okay so we bang it in if these cross towards the upside but we need this raw hash rate this little green squiggly to stay above these moving averages uh, for an extended period of time to make these cross uh, as of right now it is just oscillating on it uh, and it is it's trying not to go too low we can see that and we are seeing the miners kind of stabilize in this area okay so uh yeah i mean if we do get a few get a few um few closes on the hash rate above these moving averages then it could initiate that beautiful uh, cross towards the upside which is massively profitable for everyone involved right but as of right now just scraping on the bottom of that bull market barrier right on the edge of our trap zone what we're looking for here on the daily anyway is probably a move up here uh, over the next week um, if if we don't continue the dump here today of course uh, and then if we uh, head down below this low we just enter the short and we go for 10% all the way down to about 50k uh, this is is a plausible um it's realistic it's, it's a plausible realistic strategy right now okay uh, looking for that potential retest here uh, and then waiting for the low to break before banging it down uh, if we do break down tonight though it will be pretty much the same scenario that we'd be looking for here so let's just put a digit on that uh, 56 5 we'll call it 56 5 uh, and if we come down here 56 5 roughly exactly where our support is here so what we want to do really to get in a short here guys and again very risky of course but what we want to do to get in a short is a very very simple right we want a four hour close breaking this low we want to come up and retest this kind of area potentially the 7 sma right and then from that point if we break the low we get in a short and we ride this bad boy down to the daily lower volume weighted atr band you can see we haven't hit this in such a long time and the last time we hit it was here and we actually we actually crashed through it but when we reclaimed it it was a massive uptrend from that point so uh, i think it's more likely that we bounce off of this daily um and if we do just go where that daily is the lower daily volume weighted atr band it's currently around 51k okay so uh, this would be my area where i'd be expecting a low to form if we do continue the crash here it may wick a little bit lower here uh, 44k again this is um, like a swan event kind of crash uh, if it is going to happen okay but um yeah ideally we do curl this off around 51k uh, if we head lower anyway these are all ifs right obviously we are still holding on this area for now anyway uh, so for now we are just going to be cautious we're going to wait and we're going to be patient with it all right uh, there's no point trying to catch a knife here and there's no point trying to get in a short especially if you're new to trading okay but if you are experienced what i would say to do here uh, or what i what i've trying to do here anyway is uh, look for this 7 SMA right the 7 SMA is such a key point okay we have hit it twice here already on the way down uh, so the strategy is technically void we should be expecting to get above it but uh, if it is a major crash here uh, then we could see that kind of zigzag around that 56.5 area that we just talked about right uh, so really we can come down to 56.5 uh, we can come back retest the 7 SMA and then if we break the low made at this area then we can start looking for that and this is on the hourly right this is on the hourly so uh yeah this this is essentially what i'm looking for right now for entering a short uh, besides that the 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 long uh, update that I put out this morning guys is exactly the same what we're looking for here is to reclaim initially the 15 minute volume weighted ATR band you guys know how this works okay it's average tree range weighted by volume and they're so good at finding bottoms and when we recover uh, we get massive uptrends once we reclaim them okay so what we're looking for here <coughs> what we're looking for here just generally is to reclaim it if we can reclaim it we should be expecting a move all the way up to at least the price action channel here okay we've got the four hour volume weighted ATR band as well in this area so I can imagine if we are just kind of uh, computing this in a way and just drawing like an eight-year-old all over the chart we can see here that um, yeah I mean if we get above this 50-minute um, volume weighted ATR band we should be looking for a trade up to about 58.8 I know it's not a massive trade uh, but we can't be greedy here right couple percent that's really what I'm going for here. Just banging it back up here. A bit of a re relief rally uh, from the past few days dumps. Um, and yeah, that's the trades I'm looking for, right? So I'm looking for a long up if we if we essentially break... Um, 
I mean, this is in a few hours, right? So let's just say we do kind of mess around this area, right? Um, yeah, we'll be looking from about 57.6. Uh, again, the criteria is to get over the uh, the moving average, the 7 SMA on the hourly and the volume weighted ATR bands, okay? Um, uh, ideally around 57.6. And then we bang this up for a one, we'll call it one and a half percent trade here, just to be safe here, um, up to 58.4. So in summary, 57.6 up to 58.4, very nice trading opportunity once we reclaim this. But you might have to be aggressive with this because I imagine uh, any kind of moves towards the upside will be very, very quick here, especially if we're bearish. Okay, the downwards move, as we just talked about, let's just put a percentage on it so you can all get all tingly with FOMO here because it is a big one, okay? 8% down to 51K, uh, very risky of course but um yeah completely plausible and justifiable if we do lose this uh this bad boy but i i'm i'm more on on the on the idea that we do actually s kind of level out around this area and have a bit of a wave up i think that's more plausible and more likely uh but if we don't and we do just smash down then uh yeah we'll be targeting those those lower areas for sure we do have the weekly volume weighted atr band in between that all right that is at 53.5 so definitely take some profit there if you do find the shorts uh but just be aware uh, we're not here to catch knives and we are not here to uh essentially short the bottom okay so we're going to be cautious with this we're going to find a good entry we're going to have tight stop loss is and we're going to manage this correctly, okay? I'm not really sure what I'm holding here. I don't know if you guys can see this. I think I got some Amazon order. <laughs> it's just on my desk, but it's quite fun to fiddle with. Uh, but yeah, Bitcoin just tanking off a cliff right now. Not fantastic, not great. But uh, yeah, I mean, we put some trades out in the paid Telegram. Uh, oh, sorry, in the uh, paid uh, Patreon group for you guys today. And uh, yeah, some of them have come through already. So fantastic stuff. If you do want daily updates, okay, like we like we talked about here I'm, I'm just trying to get this get this good yeah if you do want daily updates like we talked about here okay uh i do this every single day okay well weekdays anyway uh where we do put three signals out on multiple altcoins for you guys as you can see if we zoom in here right if we zoom in see this from a few days ago right uh so very very simple stuff you guys can uh, get this by uh just paying i think it's 10 bucks a month for the paid version uh, and then if we do zoom in here um, we can see everything else you get, right? So what you get with this thing is uh, access to the private section of the Discord servers. You can ask me anything, okay? Uh, we have giveaways weekly, you get more entries into that. All right, so you, uh, you're part of the New Money Network, which is uh, a little network my brother and I have formed for people that have just made money in the past 10 years uh, that want to kind of network and catch up everyone else, all the billionaires, right? Uh, and then you get discounts on all of the courses on newmoneynetwork.net, which is basically anything to make money online, you get 50% discount. And uh, these, these discounts go up uh, massively uh, depending on on uh, which subscription you have, right? If you get the top subscription, all the courses are free, okay? All of the courses are free on the site and there's like 15 courses on there. So if that interests you, cool. If not, absolutely fine. Enjoy the free updates, free videos. I'm doing a lot of value for you guys for free all the time because I wanna teach you at the end of the day. I wanna teach as many people as possible. I know I look like a baby, but I'm 28. I've been doing this since I was 20. Uh, I know a lot about trading and I've made a lot of indicators as well. Those indicators are included in some of these uh, subscriptions, including the volume weighted ATR band that we've talked about today so uh, feel free to check that out and uh, yeah that's gonna be it for the shields today uh, besides that if you want to copy my trades guys we are currently ranked uh, what is this eighth we're ranked eighth Chester's first I know my brother is first you can follow him too <laughs> <laughs> I'll just follow him instead if you want. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good to see us both ranked so high here, uh, like in the top 10. And we did this in the TradingView Leap contest as well, right? So just kind of proving that, that we know what we're doing, right? We had a bit of a hit here early on in the bull market. We have recovered fully at this point now, okay? Uh, but uh, yes, the, the plan is to get this 5K up to 100K um, within like a, a year, something like this, right? Reasonable and a pretty decent salary. Uh, if you guys were following this as well, right? Uh, but yeah, pretty cool to see us on this and feel free to check out the links in the description for that. All right, besides that, should be just expecting uh, us to potentially go lower here, but um, don't fade a short squeeze, okay? Don't fade a relief rally because so many people will be 100x short here and uh, they're probably 3,000% up, right? But you know what happens. You know what happens, okay? Big girthy green candles to the moon it happens every time okay so let's not get caught out here let's wait for those confirmations that we just talked about and then we 
bang it, okay? We bang it for the monies, all right? That's what we're looking for, but trade safe out here. Uh, obviously, uh, just an update on my investments, guys. I did exit a lot of them around here, okay? Uh, just once we, had, uh, once we had multiple daily closes in this area, I am still holding some, but as you can see here, as we lose this bull market barrier, it's turning red. This won't be confirmed until, uh, until uh, the daily close, which is in 11 hours, okay? So we could finish still in there, still orange, but um, yeah, as of right now, not looking so great for Bitcoin, I will be honest, I will be honest. But where's the bottom? Where is the bottom? The bottom potentially is 43K. That is our maximum kind of uh, structure area. It's also where this purple line is that we didn't actually retest once we broke over it. Usually we like to retest this uh, before bull markets. Okay, we love to pull back to this uh, before the bull markets, but we just kind of left it in the dust. So maybe we're gonna revisit that kind of area uh, and, uh, and let, let, let BlackRock buy more, right? <laughs> maybe that's gonna be the plan here. But uh, ideally uh, towards the, the end of this year, if this does continue down, guys, we're looking looking for some kind of structure to form in this area, right? So between about 40K and, uh, and 60K. And with that structure, we will essentially hopefully uh, hold it okay and then begin the run up towards the end of the year that's kind of my plan that's what i think will happen most likely uh, if we lose this area anyway uh, if we if we bounce here it's fantastic we, we can find a beautiful long so i'm not worried about that all right uh, but yeah as of right now looking pretty bleak out there for everyone involved but um yeah we will be making money you can short the markets as well all right and that's what we're targeting here and yeah i, th I think this video has gone a bit too long so i'll, I'll see you guys in the next one have a, have a great day thank you for the likes leave me a comment let me know are you getting wrecked are you getting liquidated are you making money out here peace